Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to my stunning, innovative, gorgeous background that I just love filming in front of so much. Sorry to start off on a little bit of a negative, but this background, I know it's not cute. I know, I know it's not a typical stunning YouTuber backdrop. The candle was 4,000 meters behind me. You can't even see it. What was the point? I don't know what I was trying to do with that candle. I was trying to create some ambiance. I'm gonna be sitting down today and filming a full base of first impressions. I know me playing with makeup, a bit of a scary thought. If you've been here on my channel for a very long time, you know that my confidence of makeup, it isn't really there. My confidence of hair, I can literally play with my hair all day, do different styles, do different things, try new things with it. But with makeup, I don't know. I've just never really had that confidence that I've wanted to have with it and the ability that I've wanted to have with it. Let's just, let's just say that. I think on YouTube, it can feel a little bit intimidating with all the incredible, incredible makeup artists and beauty gurus out there that are so insane at makeup. And I'm just there like watching them do things. I'm like, how are you doing that? It doesn't mean that we can't sit down today, have a little bit of girly time. We can chat, play with makeup, try this makeup that I've never tried before, which I'm so excited to give a go. So yeah, I'm just gonna get straight on with it and I hope you guys enjoy. I have a huge box here full of makeup to try. There's, there's loads in there. I'm super excited that today's video is in partnership with Look Fantastic. So thank you so much to Look Fantastic for sponsoring today's video. You guys know that I've shopped on Look Fantastic for literally years now. I buy all of my beauty products on there, even stuff for like the shower, body scrubs. I buy all my makeup on there. I buy moisturizers, skincare, you name it. I buy it on Look Fantastic as well, not to self plug or anything, but Filter by Molly May is actually also now available to shop on Look Fantastic, which we have worked on getting filter on Look Fantastic for literally years now. It's just the most reputable and incredible website and to have my tan stocked on there is a bit of an honor. I'm very, very buzzing about it. Also, you guys know I have a code for Look Fantastic, which I believe is Molly May LF. I'll leave it on the screen so you guys can use that on your order, which will get you 20% off and I'll leave everything linked down below. My face is clean and cleansed. Luckily today, it's not feeling too dry. I have been suffering with, well, I cannot even explain how dry my skin has been. I've seen a lot of girls on YouTube talking about how dry their skin has been as well. I think I saw Rachel Leary talking about it on a video saying that she's suffered with extremely dry eyelids, which is exactly what I had. So hearing that other girls had been suffering with it too made me feel like, oh, it must be like the weather or I don't know, something just in the air at the minute. But I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I I have never ever used this before and I see so many girls on YouTube using this um, and saying it smells amazing. I normally love using a really thick moisturizer to prime with. That's just a habit that I've picked up from my makeup artist Holly that uses a really, really thick, like dense moisturizer on my skin to prime with. Um, I never actually use an actual primer. I'm not gonna lie, the smell isn't really giving me anything. Um, everyone always says like, oh, it smells so nice and fresh and coconutty. Um, I, I do get hints of coconut, but I, I was expecting like, coconut is my scent, like I'm obsessed with coconut. I'm not being flown to the Caribbean when I sniff this, um, which is kind of what I was hoping for, but it's fine. For foundation, I really wanted to get the new NARS foundation that everyone's been going on about. NARS like never ever released new foundations, but they have released this new foundation that I really wanted to try. Um, I wasn't able to get my hands on it, so I went for another foundation that I've never used before. This is the Born This Way foundation. I got it in gold and beige, like I said. Um, I see so many girls raving about this and so many girls saying that this is their favorite foundation. Nothing will beat this. If you guys can see that I kind of do have... I think this might be a little bit too light, I'm not gonna lie. Um, if you guys can see that I kind of do have a little bit of a beard, we're not talking about it, okay? I need to speak with, to you guys about my battle with dermaplaning and I just, I just wish I'd never got dermaplaning, basically. Like, I basically have a full beard now. But essentially, if you don't know what dermaplaning is, it's basically a type of facial. Well, you can actually do it yourself to prepare, like, a little razor, but I personally had a dermaplaning facial where they basically remove the peach fuzz from your face to make your face, like, so baby smooth and so soft. Oh, let me just tell you what I think of this foundation before I carry on with my dermaplaning story. Hold up, I'm just blending it in with a beauty blender. Because I'm not tanned at the minute, it does, it is actually a really nice color match. Um, I thought it was gonna be a little bit too light, but... It's actually really nice. It's got a really beautiful glow to it. I don't know if that's the primer that's doing that or if that's the foundation. So far, so good. You can still see like my moles um, through the foundation, which with a few like really full coverage foundations, my moles just completely disappear, which I don't really love. I like to be able to see my skin through the foundation. It's not giving me sun kissed, okay? It's not giving me sun kissed, but it's giving me a really nice base. It, 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 
I've got really no complaints about it. Moving on to concealer, I will carry on with the dermaplaning story in a minute, but moving on to concealer, I'm going to be using the matte concealer in shade NC20. This is the Studio Fix 24 hour smooth wear concealer. One thing I do switch up sometimes is my concealer. So I feel like I am a little bit of a concealer connoisseur. Fran advised me on what shade to get because Fran actually used to work at MAC. I'm sure she won't mind me telling you this, but she used to be like the head makeup artist at MAC in Selfridges back in the day day, like literally years ago. Um, so she still notes her stuff about makeup and tells me all the time what to get and stuff. This concealer doesn't look too thick. Um, I do normally like quite a full coverage concealer, but again, it doesn't look too crazy full coverage. One thing I will say already that I can really notice is it's really nice and brightening. It's probably just because I got a super light shade. <laughs> Basically, with the dermaplaning, um, I got into the habit of having dermaplaning like a dermaplaning facial and my peach fuzz just grows back at like rapid levels now um it was meant to sort of like prevent it from growing back and mean that it would grow back less or something but with any hair removal like when you shave your legs it means you have to start shaving them more when you start shaving your armpits like when you're like a younger girl like early teens it means that you have to always shave them like it's just one of those things that once you start doing it you can't really stop <laughs> so yeah you could say that i wish i never started the dermaplaning because i am not the sort of person that keeps up regularly with my beauty treatments like i'm anything that's sort of like optional to be like oh i'll do it next week i'm looking super pale i'm literally looking the same color as the wall <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay, we're gonna need to bronze up, sister. Bronze up. To set, I picked up the Born This Way Ethereal. Ethereal? Eth ethereal setting powder? I don't know what that word means. Ethereal? Who knows? It doesn't look as light as the Laura Mercier setting powder. It's kind of got a bit more of like a yellow banana y shade to it. I'm also gonna apply this with my damn beauty blender. I've literally used this beauty blender for every single stage of this makeup, but. Um, I saw, I think it's like Jaclyn Hill or someone said that applying your powder with a damp beauty blender is actually like the best way to set your makeup. I've just set my face but I've got this really beautiful cream contour that I am going to go in with on top of my powder and I know that's not the correct thing to do but listen we're not gonna, we're not judging here on this channel okay, we're not judging. Normally right now I would go in and do my brows but because it, I'm looking so flat right now and I'm so one dimensional I'm just going to go in and contour quickly and also I'm so excited to use this that I'm just going to go ahead and use it straight away. This is the Nude Sticks Contour Stick. Um, I'm so excited to use this. I do think that Holly, my makeup artist, may have used this on me before. I know she used this, the Nude Sticks products. Um, I'm not sure if she's used this exact one before. This is what it looks like. So it's like a proper, wow. Proper, proper contour stick. It looks, I can't get that in focus, but oh, there we go. Little bit terrified to do this, I'm not gonna lie, but here, here goes nothing. Do I dot? Do I stroke? Do I just go for it? Just Let's just go for it. I'm gonna go in and blend out straight away and I'm not gonna let it dry at all because I have had... Okay, we're not, we're not blending. We're not, we're not blending. We're not, we're not blending so well right now. Come on, please blend out. That's kind of weird. I feel like that's kind of blended into nothing. At first it was like not blending at all and now I feel like we've kind of, we've kind of blended into nothing. Let me just go in with a little bit more because I need a little bit more depth than that. Does this side of my face look any different to this side of my face? Like looking at it here, does that look any different? To be honest with you, ever since I had my cheek filler dissolved and like my jaw filler dissolved, I felt like there wasn't really a clear spot for me to put my contour anymore. So that is sometimes why I do still struggle to like do my contour nicely because when I had cheeks out here, <laughs> There was like a clear shadow for me to put my um, contour underneath, but because they're a lot flatter now, I feel like sometimes it just sort of sits a bit muddy on my face and doesn't look the cutest. I do still get a lot of people messaging me saying that they think I've had a nose job. <laughs> I promise if I had a nose job, I would just tell you. I, I really wouldn't be able to hide that one, unfortunately. But to be honest, I can completely understand why people do think I've had a nose job because my face, as it's matured, my nose has really, really changed. Um, I've definitely grown into my nose because when I look back at old videos when I'm like 17, 18, I, it's a different nose. It, it's like a completely different nose. It's so strange. I just realized that I'm probably gonna get some questions being like, why aren't you wearing your Tommy necklace? Have you guys split up? No, I, I took it off because I had a massage and I've literally forgotten to put it back on. Um, don't worry guys, he's literally downstairs making a ton of racket. That's why I've taken the necklace off, no, I'm joking. I'm gonna go off camera and do my brows quickly because it's super boring and it takes me about 45 years to get them right. Um, I'm gonna be using the MAC Eyebrow Styler in shade 
lingering. I've never used this before, so I'm excited to see how this works because eyebrows is something that I, <laughs> along with everything else, I really struggle with. And then for the brow setter, like the gel, I'm using Rimmel Wonderful Brow Clear Brow Styling Gel. This is what it looks like. Obviously nice and cheap. We love a Rimmel product. Guys, I feel like I've really just nailed a new little brow routine there. Don't get me wrong, I still love my Refi, Refi products a lot. They'll always be my fave, but this is really great and really affordable. Like this brow gel, I, I bet it's only a few pounds. For eyeshadow, I bought, why did I say that so posh then? For eyeshadow, darling. <laughs> I need to get back to my Manchester roots now. For eyeshadow, my dad and his wife Carla came to visit me the other day. Um, they literally just turned up on the driveway out of nowhere. And I only spoke for like 10 seconds and straight away they both were like, why do you have an accent? I was like, shut up, do I? They were literally like, you have a full Manchester accent. I, I, I didn't really know what to say. I was like, well, guys, my boyfriend is fully mank, like as mank as they come. He's like, you're right, love, you're right, darling. He's going to kill me when he sees this because he'll be like, I don't speak like that. Um, but like my manager, she's full Manchester gal. Tommy's obviously full Manchester. Tommy's family, all my friends up here, like everyone is so mank. Um, so, I mean, I know my accent probably will change a little bit but I hadn't noticed it myself I think sometimes I just go up at the end of my sentences now so yeah for eyeshadow I bought a couple of different things I bought a new Morphe palette which is in 350 I'll show you the colors inside that I also picked up a Bobbi Brown what's this this is a long wear cream shadow stick now I thought this would be cool to play around with because I've never used a cream shadow stick before and this is really where I will try and open up my ability it's inside here oh wow really beautiful I feel like this is a really really good basics palette but then you also have a few oranges here like burnt oranges and stuff I don't know if this color is going to be a little bit too dark this almost looks like a bit of a contour stick not an eyeshadow stick this is in shade cinnamon oh I love that shade I'm obsessed with cinnamon hey here goes nothing how much you put on like Maybe like that. It looks like a bird's taking a poo on my eyelid right now. Guys, I feel like this may not have been a complete disaster. I'm not, I'm not hating it so far. It's really, really blendable. I'm using quite a dense brush here just to sort of like push the product out. Oh my gosh. It kind of just looks like I've used Hoola Bronzer like in my crease, but it's blended really nicely. I'm really quite keen on that. One thing I think this would be really, really great for would be like if you're in a rush or like doing your makeup in like the back of a cab or like you've got to get someone really quick and like you just need to do like a swipe, swipe, blend out. This would be really great. Great, that's a 10 out of 10 from me for that little product there. I'm gonna buy that in a few more shades actually because um, I really enjoyed that. I did pick up a liquid liner and um, you guys know I love a brown liquid liner. I never use black, I always use brown. I picked up the NYX Epic Ink Liner Waterproof in shade brown. Say hello guys, hello guys. <laughs> okay, we're not cooperating. We're not cooperating, it was a nice idea. Apologies if the angle's a little bit different, my camera died, so I just had to put an extra battery pack in. But the eyeliner is on. It could have gone better, it could have gone worse. This one is literally pointing up to like Scotland or something, and this one, this one went better, this one, had a mind of its own. Well, the eyeliner was really nice, like really, really nice. I'm definitely gonna pop that in my makeup bag. For bronzer, we do have another NYX product. This is the matte bronzer from NYX in shade deep tan. Um, I've never used this bron bronzer before. I've never used a NYX bronzer in general. So this looks really beautiful. It looks like a really nice color. Oh, she's pigmented. Really, oh, okay, quite pigmented. I'm just gonna keep blending. Oh, to be fair, I think this is, it is blendable and it is blending out. It's a really, really nice shade, actually. I really like a warm bronzer. For a really reasonable priced bronzer, because I know bronzers can get really expensive, and I feel like a lot of time, a lot of the time people think that to get a nice bronzer, you have to, like, go high-end, you have to spend, like, 40, 50 quid. This is just showing me that you really, really don't. Oh, well, couldn't recommend that anymore. That is beautiful. I'm really, really pleased with that. Now, I'm about to do something that is going to send you makeup lovers and makeup knowledgeable makeup people absolutely under so if this is going to send you under then i really apologize but i'm about to put a cream blush on i'm about to put a cream blush on, <laughs> on top of all of that powder i'm going to put a cream blush on and hopefully i'm going to prove to you guys that it's all right if you do things like that because it's not going to be detrimental it might be detrimental it might ruin my whole face i see so many girls on instagram doing um posts about this iconic liquid blush the iconic products in general and i've never i use them actually about four years ago i used one of their sprays so i wanted to see if it was a bit of like an instagram hype um or if it's actually cute so maybe i'll just pop a couple of dots on 
Oh, guys, I think this might be a bit, little bit too light for me. It's added a nice pinky colour, but I like a really, like, pinky, bright blush. It's cute, but I, I like quite a deep blush, and it's a little bit too light for me. I should have got a darker shade. I did actually pick up a powder blush as well, because I did have a feeling that that might be the case. Um, I picked up one from Sleek. I used to use Sleek makeup all the time. It's super affordable, um, and I got it in shade Issa Mood. <laughs> I just, that felt disgusting coming out of my mouth. It's a mood. Oh my god, I'm never saying that ever again. She's a sparkling. She is a sparkling. I, I might be all right if I just go in very, very gently, but it really is a mood. It's like extreme sparkle. If you hear some weird noises that sounds like me farting, I can assure you that it's just the cats snoring right behind my camera. It's not me farting at all. Baby, why are you snoring? Why are you snoring? Please blow your nose. Can you blow your nose, please? For mascara, I picked up this really beautifully packaged Kevin Aquan mascara. It's so thin. I've never seen a mascara like this before. It's wow, wow. Oh my goodness. Can you see that? It's a really, really, really thin wand. Like everything about this is super sleek. Gosh. Okay, a lot of product is coming out onto the lashes. A little bit clumpy, not gonna lie, but let me just keep brushing it through, hold up. That's actually quite impressive. It's super, super lengthening. Um, now I've got a little bit less on the brush, I'm gonna go on this side. Um, it's so much nicer when there's less on the brush. That is literally added like a meter onto my lashes. Okay, maybe not a meter, but that is really, really done a nice job. I can't specifically remember how much this mascara was. I do know Kevin Aquan products are quite expensive. But that mascara is really amazing. I highly, highly recommend that. For lip liner, I have an Inglot liner here. Well, I think I got it in too dark of a shade. It looks a bit dark for me. It's in shade 56. I'm just going to go in and line my lips quickly with this. I think I may have used um, Inglot liners before because obviously Maura works with them massively. I've just lined my lips, but that liner is way too dark for me. This lip colour is giving me the corpse's bride. It's very cool. I need some warmth up in here. I need to just... Um, fix this a little bit. I just had to fix that a little bit and just take a little bit of that lip off. I've just kind of left like the liner on and popped the liner on a little bit at the center of my lips, but I do have a lip gloss that I really want to try. I have here the Too Faced Instantly Sexy Lips That Last. This is the Lip Injection Extreme Lip Gloss. I've never ever tried this before and I've always wanted to. I see girls using this all the time on like TikTok and stuff. Um, oh, I bought a mini! I bought a mini! She's cute! She diddy! Like, she's tiny i didn't realize i bought a mini one but that's okay we don't need a lot of it this is obviously meant to make your lips grow it's meant to make them like plump and look nice and juicy whilst i let that do its thing and tingle and make my lips grow it's <laughs> it's already tingling and stinging like mad but um i'm gonna go in with the nyx dewy finish 16 hour setting spray which i've never used before so Oh, that was really nice and fresh. Wow, so that's stinging. Really stinging. I don't know if stinging is the right word. It's not a pleasant feeling. It just feels like you've got like a hot chili and like rubbed them all over your lips. But I think it's kind of, I think it's kind of working. Anyway, guys, I think we've actually reached the end and we've got a full face of first impressions on right now. All of the makeup products that I used in this video I've never used before. And I'm happy with the way the makeup turned out. Obviously, I know I've said it a million times and I know I need to stop going on about it and like, I'm sort of manifesting myself to be bad at makeup here because that's all I keep going on about. I need to be more positive and be like, no, I am going to get better at doing makeup. I know, I know there's going to have been a lot of things in this video that people will be like, what the hell did she do that for? Like, why did she use powder before? Like, I don't think it's in the wrong order. And I'm sorry, but I hope this has shown the girls out there that maybe are a bit like me and aren't as confident with makeup that it doesn't really matter what order you do your makeup in, how you want to do it. However you want to do your makeup is however you want to do your makeup. And I definitely don't follow the rules because... I don't get the rules. Every single thing that you could possibly need for a full face of makeup, or even for your hair, for your skin, for your body, like anything at all, you'll find it on Look Fantastic. And obviously I will link everything that I've used in this video down below and I'll leave my code down um, below so you can use that as well on your order. A little bit of a different video for me. I know I've done a first impression, a full face of first impressions before. And the reason I wanted to do it again is because that video actually got really good views and you guys seem to obviously really enjoy it. Um, so I thought I'd do another one and show you guys me playing with makeup again. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you made it to the end of this video, then I love you millions and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. 
don't want to actually do a proper kiss because I'm going to get lip gloss all over my fingers. 